Setting up a user quota can be a useful feature to help you allocate your NAS disk volume efficiently. Quotas allow you to set limits or restrictions on users uploading data onto your NAS. You can even specify the quota that will be assigned to each user. By default, no quotas are set for the users. When they are enabled and a user reaches the disk quota, that user will not be able to upload any data to the server anymore. In this video, you will learn how to set up a user quota for your QNAP NAS. First, let's open up the QTS interface. To get to the quota page, click on the control panel, go to Privilege Settings, then click on Quota. Check the box to enable user quotas. Then, enter a value for the upload limit in megabytes or gigabytes. I'll enter 100 megabytes to show you the enabled quota from another user account. Upon enabling, a quota table will appear with all your NAS users that will also show you how much space they've used and how much is left. You can modify each user's quota by selecting a user, then clicking the Edit button. After applying your changes, the quota settings will be shown. Click Generate if you want to generate a quota settings file in CSV format. After the file is done generating, click Download to save it to your specified location. You can also set quotas for each user by going to the User section, then clicking Edit Account Profile. Now, let's log out of the admin account and log back in with the QNAP user to see what happens when you try to upload something that exceeds the newly created quota. I'll go to the file station and upload a file that's over 100 megabytes. As you can see, the NAS isn't allowing me to upload this file because it exceeds my user quota. Quotas can be very useful to efficiently moderate your disk space usage. Now, you should know how to set up user quotas on your QNAP NAS. Thank you for watching and don't forget to check out our next videos.